Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Mike Vertisim and in this video I will show you uh, the easy way to set up DLSS ultra quality without having to fiddle with the NVIDIA profile inspector. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back and for your support. And if you're new to the channel, welcome and thank you for clicking on the video. All right, let's jump into it. So to, um, to manage your, your DLSS tweaks, you need a, um, a small program that you can download uh, from a website that I will link below in the description uh, underneath this video. So when you come up, this website is uh, from NexusMod. It says DLSS tweaks. And if you scroll down, you will find first one that's the latest one you just download uh, that file uh, you see I already uh, downloaded it um, if you can't download it you have to uh, set up and uh, you have to register it's all free and then you can download it it's a very small program so you download it and then you're gonna open or you're gonna unzip the file and when you open it you will find this screen here all right, so you're just gonna set up some tweaks. You can um, set here force force DLAA. You can set this to true. You don't have to do that. I did that, but you don't have to do that because we're only gonna use this part, DLSS quality levels. So you wanna enable this one. Set it to true. We're not going to use ultra performance. We're not going to use performance or balanced or quality. Those are the standard settings that are also applied in the sim. Only going to use ultra quality because that's what we want. And then here you can set any value that you want. So I'm now on a uh, 1080p screen, as you could, you could see here when I'm hovering over it doesn't say anything now here we go so point 0.8 will be 1536 by 864 that's my ultra quality but I can also change it to point nine zero. see you can change it easily but now it's even bigger but I leave it at uh, point eight zero. 0 0.80 there we go that's what I have and then down here the presets you can leave all the other ones on default and ultra quality on preset F now if you want to know what the presets are you have to go to another website if you uh, you look down down wait a minute look down here it will say find the uh, the preset descriptions on this website on Reddit. So let me open that one for you now. So I'm gonna move this one out of the way, and then we go back to this one, and then go to Reddit, and here you can see what the presets are. So preset A is intended for performance or balanced or quality models. It's an older variant, best suited for combat ghosting for elements without missing input. Preset B, ultra performance mode, similar to preset A, but for ultra performance modes. That's not what we want. Preset C, balance, per, uh, performance, balance, and quality modes. Preset F, or the preset which Generally favors current frame information, generally well suited for fast paced game content. Well, that's not Flight Simulator. Preset D, intended for performance balanced quality modes. The default preset for performance balanced quality mode generally favors image stability. Preset E is unused, and F, intended for ultra performance DLAA modes. The default preset for ultra performance and the LAA mode. If we choose preset F, 
we get a little bit of DLA, DLAA anti-aliasing over the, uh, the setting that we have for the LSS. So that's really an improvement. That's a good anti-aliasing on top of what we have. So that's why we choose preset F. So for the presets that we have set here for ultra quality, 0.8 and F, you can change this to whatever you like. Make it 0.7, make it 0.75, 0.9, 0.95, I don't know, I don't care. Whatever you like and whatever your system can handle. Then you want to save it, save your settings, and then copy to game folder. Um, I already did this. If you choose the uh, copy to game folder, it will ask you for the folder path where your Microsoft Flight Simulator is. For me, that is Program Files, Windows Apps, Microsoft Flight Simulator, and then the uh, version, and then the all the numbers. That's the folder name. That's where your, your Microsoft Flight Simulator exe file also is uh, situated. And that's set. Set the folder. The copy, it will copy this, uh, the INI file, the DLSS Tweaks INI, the DLSS Tweaks config tool, the exe, this exe file for this, this, this tool. And it will override your DLSS uh, driver file, the DLL file. Once that's done, you can close this one, start up the sim, and choose uh, DLSS Ultra Quality. So I already did that, so I don't have to save it anymore. Nope, I don't want that. Now we're here in the in the game. See, general options. This is for PC. And here I got Ultra Quality set. Okay, so let's give this a test. So we are in the cockpit of the Gauss DA42. Let's close the canopy. Parking brake is set, this is all set, trim is set, power off, alright, so let's set the battery on, get some lights on, up, okay, there we go, and let's get the fuel pumps on, alright, do this one, glow, one and two, it's the 20 seconds, so we start with engine number two, here we go. Oh, that was my throttle. Yeah, that's done. And number one, here we go. Stall heat comes on. Rapid master on. Waiting for the toll system. Let's gauge the horizon here. Get some instrument lights on. Flaps are up, all secured except for that little pilot operating handbook in the back. Right, so we're going to uh, the far end of the runway. Let's put this one on CDI. There we go, on the GPS. And that's sexy out to the right, and we're gonna use the whole runway here. Because all right, toll system test is okay. On the brakes, release the parking brake. Here we go, so, oh, she really wants to taxi. All right, so we're going to this side and then turn around. Okay, it's a very short grass strip here. So we're gonna need Everything we have, I'm gonna use um, one set of flaps here for the first stage of flaps. It's very short, 
So it's uh, down the runway, then rotate and do a left turn out into the valley and then we're going to climb up to 3000 feet and then we pick up the track to our destination airport, which I can't pronounce. <laughs> oh. Alright, let some power. Release the parking ray of the brakes. Got a little bit, a little bit of wind coming from the right. As we is alive, 60. Ready, here we go. Nice, we got a lot of headwind, so we were able to rotate really quick. Oh, oh, it's windy. You see that valley there? Oh, oh, oh man! What's the wind doing? I'm not doing anything here. It's gusty. Oh, that's about 70 knots. Wow. And gusty. Alright, it's gonna be a bumpy ride for 15 miles. Flaps up. Increase some speed. Climb power is set 95%. And we have to go over left here. Once we clear this area, we're gonna turn over left here. Oof, oof, man, I'm fighting the wind here. Which is fun, of course. Alright, so we want to be high enough here because we have some wires in the valley below us. 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock low. The lowest part there, that's where we're going to cross the uh, mountain ridge. We are already at 3000 feet. Then we're going to set the cruise power. Trim the aircraft. Alright, and this is really smooth flying, even though it's bumpy, it's really smooth, stay on altitude, I'm gonna fly this by hand, not with the uh, autopilot, uh, because I, I love fighting uh, the weather. We've got a wind coming from our 7 o'clock position, yep. We got uh, 32 knots of wind, wow! Yeah. That's uh, a lot of wind for a uh, light aircraft like this one. And then again, we're just here to have fun. And this DLSS quality is uh, it's really great. It, it works uh, at point 0.8 for the skill factor. And it's sharp enough, not really sh that sharp as DAA, but then again, it's super smooth. And I'd rather have a very smooth sim than a razor sharp sim. Yeah, it's, it's we don't want stutters. And I have my frame rate capped at 30. And that gives me uh, all the best settings for, for my GPU, a 3080 with uh, 10 gigabytes of RAM. And I'm now GPU limited instead of CPU limited. So, the CPU is still coping with the GPU. Alright, so now we have to go a little bit to the left. Pick up the track. And the airfield is really close by, guys. It's uh, you see the that hill over there. Behind there is some uh, is a chimney with, uh, with 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 smoke. That's a power plant. 3,500 feet. Well, that's a level out. So that's where we're going, and the airport is just behind uh, the uh, the power plant over there. A 
really love flying this aircraft, it's good fun. And it's fun to have a, uh, a twin engine, this size of an uh, airplane. And my all time favorite is the Comanche. I really like this, uh, this aircraft, the handling is very good. The flight model is, uh, is accurate. So we're just going to steer a few degrees to the right. Here on the, on the map we have to come to this lake and then cross here for the... Uh, I think it's runway 33 and the wind is 227, alright. We're slowly going to descend. Otherwise we'll be too high up. It's just about 7 miles, 7.2, 7 7.1. We're basically flying this way now because of the wind, flying that direction. As you can see here on the uh, on the MFD, where we're heading to is uh, where the uh, pivot is. So a lot of crosswind here. Let's see if we can make that landing. <laughs> oh my! So, over there is the runway, just right off the chimney. I don't know if you can see that already in the video, but I can see it in the headset. Alright, so I'm going to lower the gear. Yes. Alright, we've got three greens. Gear is down and locked. Full flaps now. Now we have to descend. It will be too high. Not too fast. Yeah, speed up. Oh, fighting, fighting, fighting this. This wind. Oof, 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 oof. Oh, stay on the runway. Oh, man. I think this is just a little bit too much for this aircraft. Or I just messed up. <laughs> But anyhow, it wasn't about the landing, it's about the sim and how smooth it was, and it is really smooth. Well, thank you for watching, and uh, I'm on my way to 2,500 subscribers, so if you subscribe to the channel, it will um, help me out a lot, and it will be highly appreciated. So, thanks for watching, and uh, see you soon in the next video.